Hi, I'm Dan Palomino with KW Big Island and the Hawaii team. Today, we are answering a question that we get quite a bit here at the Hawaii team, and that is, Dan, Chris, why is there not more inventory on the island? Why aren't there more homes for sale? Well, actually, it's not just the island. It's all over the country. The inventory problem across the country has been a big deal for the last several years. That's why you have bidding wars. That's why you have real estate frenzies because the, the supply is so low and the demand may not necessarily be really, really high. It was in 21, but it may not necessarily be really, really high. It may just be a normal demand but the, there's still the inventory is so, so very low. And so why is inventory so low? Well, let's just take the current economic conditions because some people have said to me, well, Dan, given the economy, right? Given inflation, given mortgage interest rates, given the bank failures, given what's going on right now, don't you expect some prices in Hawaii to start coming down? I say no, I don't expect prices in Hawaii to start coming down and the reason is multifactorial, but the biggest reason why I think they're not coming down is the inventory problem again. They're just not making more homes here on the island. There's very little new construction or new development here happening here on the island. It's almost non-existent, right? There is a couple of places we can talk about for new homes, but it's, it's pretty rare. So what you have to depend on is you have to depend on somebody who owns an existing property, putting that property up for sale. And that takes a while, right? It doesn't happen every day. I mean, we look at the MLS every single day here in Hawaii and a really robust active day would be nine listings. Can you imagine nine listings on the market for the entire day? That's crazy. I used to sell nine homes a month in Denver. Um, so again, inventory is a big deal. Now, as we get into this second quarter here, and you know things are still pretty rough with real estate and the economy, um, what's gonna happen is you're gonna say, well, won't more people right now as things get tougher, won't more people put their homes on the market and we have more inventory? And the answer is no, they're not gonna put their homes on the market. Here's why. The difference between now and 2008, in 2008, everybody was over leveraged. Everybody had a second home. Everybody had a vacation home. And when things got tough, when the economy went south, when they lost their job, what did they do? Well, they got rid of their vacation home. They got rid of their investment property. They let that go. If you're gonna let anything go, it's gonna be your investment property or your second home. You're not gonna let your primary residence go, although some people did. But if they're gonna let something go to foreclosure, it's gonna be one of those. Well, that's what happened in 2008. That's not happening now here in 2023. And the reason why that's not happening is because number one, they're not losing their jobs. Number two, they have so much equity in this house. The house that they bought here in Hawaii, many people bought it with cash. And so if they bought it with cash and they don't owe anything, all they have to do is sit out the economic downturn. All they have to do is sit out the slowdown. Um, if, if they didn't buy it with cash, well then chances are they're probably in that property at 4% below on the mortgage, 4% or less. And a 4% or less mortgage um, is really pretty manageable. I mean, the, the mortgage payments are probably pretty low. And again, those people who have mortgages probably can go ahead and sit out this slowdown, sit out this downturn. You see, the difference between now and 2008 is none of those people uh, present day that I just talked about have to sell their property. They haven't lost their job. They haven't lost their fortune. They may have paid cash. They're in at a low interest rate. They've got a boatload of equity. And here's the final piece of why they probably don't have to let that house go for sale in Hawaii. Because back in 2008, we didn't have an Airbnb. We didn't have a VRBO. We didn't have the ability to short-term vacation rental our second home. That whole segment of business that has propped up in the last five to 10 years has changed the game. These people are making money renting out their places and they're gonna continue to make money renting out their places and that money is covering the mortgage payment so they don't have to sell. 
And that's really the best explanation about, about why inventory here on the island isn't going to get better anytime soon. And that's the best explanation about why people aren't gonna be rushing to sell their properties at a discount. All right, if you wanna buy, sell, or invest in real estate, we would love to help you here at the Hawaii team. Just contact us at 808-913-0899, 808-913-0899, or thehawaiiteam.com. Aloha.